everybody. This is Pastor Heather with The Niche. Um, I just want to welcome you all today for our weekly podcast. Um, you know, this past week, I actually um, took off due to um, some medical issues that I had going on with myself. And uh, I was scheduled to have a surgery done last week. And uh, so, you know, since then, I have just kind of been in a uh, a recuperating stage and I want everybody to know that I feel the love and uh, your prayers have made a difference in my life uh, for healing um, so with you know having this week off uh, to be able to to just heal hopefully over the next couple of weeks um, I did not preach last Sunday so I've just been resting really um, during this time, I was reading just in my daily devotional, um, I've been reading through the book of Psalms, and uh, the day after my surgery, I read the scripture, and I just know that this was a word for the Lord. I, I pray that this word will bless you, because I can tell you that it blessed me tremendously. It's Psalms 41, 3. This is what the word says. The Lord will sustain and strengthen him on his sickbed. In his illness, you will restore him to health. You know, there are two types of words in the Bible. One is called the Logos. That's the written word of God. That's the word that we just read black and white, line for line in scripture but there's also something called the rhema word of god that word is said to be the breathing life giving nourishment of the word you know we say sometimes uh you'll open up your bible and you'll read a scripture and this scripture psalm 41 3 was one of those scriptures that touched me deeply um and it's like, you know, you feel like it just jumps out off of the page or it just really touches you in some kind of a way. Well, that's that living word. That's the rhema word that I'm talking about. And Psalm 41.3 was specifically for me on that day. And God just spoke into my heart and he said, I see that you're sick. You're on your sick bed. And I was, I was very ill, but he said, I will restore your health also. Faith inside of me rose up to want to get well quickly. And then in my prayer time, he said something amazing to me. He said, your scars will be your greatest blessing. And this really touched me also because the type of surgery that I had, I have three incisions in my abdomen area and you know he's he said that uh, those scars will be a blessing I think about we all have scars in our lives maybe they're physical scars you know um, but they can be emotional scars and um, they can be spiritual scars somebody sp spoke a bad word over you in your life or you know, there was abuse or other things. These are scars that sometimes we can't always see. But if we will commit those scars to Christ, who suffered the greatest scars of all on the cross of Calvary, you know, he was bruised and he was beaten. That's what the book of Isaiah says. You know, he has uh, scars in his hands and he has scars in his feet and in his side where he was pierced. He has scars. You know, he had the crown of thorns. He is a man that was despised and rejected. Christ knows what our scars feel like. That brings comfort to me during this time that my body is healing as well. And then the last verse that I have been living out this past week post-surgery 
has been Isaiah 26, and I'm going to read this from my Bible. 26, 3. This was the other scripture that he gave me. He said, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. And I do trust in the Lord. And I know that when my thoughts are on him, when my mind is fixed on him, I'm not caught up in the cares of this world. I'm not concerned about, you know, what's what's going on or what's happening or not happening. It's okay. I can rest in the Lord and I can be in perfect peace with him if my mind and my eyes are fixed and focused on him. And so the last thing that he said to me in my prayer time, he said, you know, it's not a perfect world that we live in, but you know what? You are perfect in it. Wow. He's so good to us. He is a good, good father. And you know, it's not a perfect world. And we don't have to look very far to see a lot of things that are not good. But he said, we are perfect in his world. We, his creation, are perfect. Every single one of us. Enjoy that time and be able to rest and fellowship in that. And you know, through this week of healing and of resting, I learn more and more every day how much I need the Lord's friendship. So this is just sharing my heart with you this week. But what are your scars? And what is God speaking to you about? And no, you're not in a perfect world either, but you are created perfectly in Him. So if I didn't have anything else to say this week, I pray that the Lord blesses you and keeps you safe until we meet again. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.